All right, so welcome back. Uh, today, we're going to take a look at finishing up our uh, implementation of the bombs to get their functionality to work. And then the next thing we'll do is get them to actually spawn when we have a match of four. So last thing we did was we, uh, in our find matches script, inside of our find all matches uh, coroutine, down here, uh, we were checking to see if the current dot was a row bomb, if the left dot was a row bomb, or if the right dot was a row bomb. And if so, we called this helper method called get row pieces, and we uh, added whatever row pieces we got from that to the row pieces we already had for our current matches. And then down here, you can see we've got get row pieces. Uh, get row pieces was a list of dots uh, that took in a row, and then we went through uh, every dot, and if the dot had the same row as the row that we were looking for, then we made it matched, and we added it to our uh, our list. So, uh, and then we return that list. Now we're going to do something similar with the column. So I'm just going to kind of cup. <coughs> pardon me. I'm going to copy here um, this whole function here that was after we checked the tags to make sure that they're the same. Um, this function that checks the whether or not they're row bombs. So I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to go down to a similar place in the uh, column place. So. Up here, I've got if the up dot is the same tag as the current, and if the down dot is the same tag as the current. So in here, I'm going to paste that method. And there's a few things I have to do to fix it here to make it work. So I'm going to kind of get all of my code here in line. The first thing you'll notice is that since we're looking at up and down, uh, this left and right part freaks out. So we're going to change this to up, and we're going to change right to down. D O W N. And now instead of get row pieces, we're going to change this to get column pieces. And instead of getting column pieces at J, the column is I. So I'm going to save this. And uh, we're going to jump back. Actually, we'll do one more thing and then we'll jump back to our game. So in my dot class, right now for debugging purposes, I have this method about on mouse over. So if I mouse over a dot and I right click it, which is mouse button one, then I set that to be a row bomb. I create the row arrow and I parent the arrow to that dot. So I'm going to change this because I'm testing out the column feature here. I'm going to do is column bomb. And then I'm going to instantiate instead of row arrow, a column arrow. Yeah, sorry. There we go. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to save this. I'm going to pop back into Unity and let that compile for a second. OK. I'm going to hit play. And when this comes up, my pieces will slide in. Now, I want to find three that will make a column. So I've got these two purples and that purple there. If I right click that one, it turns into a column bomb. And I'll switch it over there. That did not work. So let's find out what I did wrong. So if I jump back over here, I want to look in the find matches method. So, oh, that's why. I was looking for is row bomb, and I need to be looking for is column bomb. So is column bomb, is column bomb, and is column bomb. So I'm going to save that again. I want to check the get column pieces again just really quickly. So we take in a column, column I. OK, that looks OK. Let's make sure. So I'm going to pop back into Unity here. As soon as it's uncompiling, I'll hit play. And then my pieces will slide in. I'll find three that would make a column. So uh -uh -uh. I got these two oranges and this orange down here. So I'm going to right click to make that one a column bomb, switch places, and the whole column clears out. Now there's an issue with the way that we're doing it right now. Let's say I make this a column bomb and I want to match it with these two down here. What you would expect to happen is for this column to go out of existence. So let's see what happens. Nothing. And the reason nothing happens is because in our find matches method, when we're finding the left and right matches, we're only looking for row bombs. We're not looking for a column bomb. So this is probably the most difficult part of this. So what we're going to do 
is we're going to also check to see if any of these are column bombs. But if they're column bombs, then we have to do something different. So let's check this out. So let's talk about it in the first place. So we'll say if current dot dot get component and the component I want to get is the dot component dot is column bomb then I want to um, find all the current or find all the uh, dots that are in that column so I'll do current matches dot union and I want to do get column pieces and the column I want to get in this case is I. Now, this is only going to work if it's a centerpiece, uh, if it's a row of three, if it's a centerpiece, or if it's a row of four, and it's one of the two in the middle, or a row of five, and it's one of the three in the middle. This won't work if it's one of the edge pieces. If it's one of the edge pieces, we have to check if left dot, dot get component, I probably should have just copied that, dot and I want to check is column bomb uh, if that's true then I'm gonna say current matches dot union uh, get column pieces and if it's the left dot I want to get I minus one okay I'm gonna copy this again my code is getting really really messy here so I should probably devote an episode to refactoring it, but I know a lot of you have been waiting for like the power ups and stuff, so I'll leave I'll save the refactoring for later. But this is kind of becoming bad. Uh, okay, so I'm going to do the same thing for instead of left dot, I'm going to do right dot. So if right dot is column bomb, current matches union get column pieces i plus one. Okay, cool. So now I want to go down here. And do something similar um, for a column bomb, or sorry, for a row bomb in the column places. So I'm going to say if current dot uh, dot get component, and the component I want to get is the dot component dot is row bomb this time. Then I want to, oops, then I want to current matches not current dot, current matches dot union and the union I want to do is get row pieces and the row pieces I want to get are this current row which is J. I'm going to copy and paste this a few more times here so I'm going to copy and paste and paste so I want to do it for the current dot. I also want to do it for the up dot. And up dot is j plus 1. And I also want to do it for down dot. And down dot is j minus 1. All right. So I'm going to save my scripts. I'm going to pop back into Unity, see if I have any errors and see if it behaves the way I want it to. If it does, we are awesome. So I'm going to hit play here. Right now I have my right click still set to row bomb. So I'm going to find something that would make a column. So like these three purple here, 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 and here. I'm going to turn that, oh, no, it's still column bomb. So I'm going to do a row. So here, here, and here. And I should see these three explode and then also the column if I did it correctly. And there we go. Now let's test it out for the other way. Let's go to the dot subclass. And instead of making a column bomb, let's make a row bomb. And we'll make a row arrow. Okay. And I'll save this. And now we want to make sure that the row bomb works in columns. So I'll let Unity compile. I'll hit save, or I'll hit play. Uh, okay, and these are going to slide in. So I want to check a column with a row bomb. So right click to make a row bomb, and swap those pieces. Sweet. Worked exactly like I expected it to. I want to make sure that nothing weird is happening here. 
Um, so let's try that again. Cool. All right. So I probably could have done that as one episode. I don't know why I have such a wonky split, but so there we go. That's part two. So the next video that we do, or that I do, I'm going to take a look at how to actually generate um, that row or column bomb randomly when you get a match of four. So if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down in the description below. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying this. Now that some things in my life have kind of settled down, I hope to get back to a two videos a week schedule and I want to kind of focus on this one first before I focus on any of the other tutorials I have going so yeah thank you so much um, if you have any questions like I said leave them down below and have a wonderful day